So you're reinstalling a fresh copy or installing Windows first time on your new Intel-based PC and ASUS laptop in this case. However, when you reach the dialog where you have to select the drive where to install Windows, no drives are visible and it says we couldn't find any drives. To get a storage driver, click Load Driver. The NVMe SSD drive is definitely present in this laptop and it is visible in BIOS. The problem Windows installation cannot detect it is the Intel processor inside this computer. Starting from Intel 11th gen and up, Intel incorporates something that is called Intel Volume Management Device. Basically, that's a proprietary technology that enables a sort of RAID or Obtain technology on your NVMe SSD drives. The problem with that is that Windows 10 installation in this case was released before Intel 11th Gen came along, so your installation media doesn't have drivers for that. There are some unofficial Windows installation builds made by enthusiasts which already have those drivers included, but I strongly advise you against using any unofficial Windows installation builds. If you want to incorporate those drivers into the installation, do it yourself. However, in this particular case, there is actually no reason to use any kind of RAID, and this is a RAID technology, since this is a laptop with only one SSD and no one is going to install another SSD to get them in RAID mode. There is a solution though. I will be showing the solution on a laptop, but it will be the same for desktop, both brand and self-assembled, and also Windows tablets. And of course, this solution will fix only this particular problem, when you are sure that your SSD drive is completely functional and working in other devices, but just for some reason on this particular machine, Windows installation media doesn't see the drive. That's what we are going to solve. If your drive is not recognized because it's broken, this obviously won't fix your issue. So to make the drive, or the drives, visible to Windows installation, you basically have two options. The first one is disable Intel Volume Management Device technology, since you will probably see no benefit from that anyways. It may slightly optimize power consumption, but I seriously doubt that. So if you want to go this route, you have to go to your laptop BIOS. I will be showing this in ASUS Laptop UEFI BIOS, However, if you have a different brand of laptop, you may have the same feature in a different place or the setting can be completely missing from your BIOS options. So your mileage may vary. Anyway, on this ASUS laptop, you have to go to the BIOS, hit Advanced, scroll down the Advanced Settings, find a setting which is called VMD Setup Menu and disable VMD Controller. You will be presented with a message that there may be a data loss or something. However, as we are reinstalling Windows or installing fresh copy of Windows, we shouldn't take that too serious. Anyway, after the controller is disabled, you can boot your Windows installation media back and this time around the drives will be visible. Here we have only one drive and since we are going for a fresh install, delete all the old partitions until the entire drive is unallocated and press next. The Windows install media will create all the partitions for you. Windows will work just fine without VMD controller enabled, and I doubt you will have any performance loss. However, if you still want to use this controller, you have to keep the controller enabled in BIOS, and you will have to download drivers for Intel IRST controller to the Windows installation media from which you are booting to install Windows. You can find links to those drivers on your laptop manufacturer website, for example Dell has them, ASUS has them and most of the other brands as well. However, you can also download them directly from Intel website. This is the latest driver at the time I am making this video. There are several download options. You can download the zip version with VMD. After you download that, you have to extract the folder directly to your Windows installation USB media. In this case, I put the files in the Intel directory. However, you may put them just in the root directory of the USB thumb drive 
you're installing Windows from. You don't have to recreate the image if you already have a Windows installation USB, just copy the files directly to it. Boot back from this installation USB, and when you reach the Drive Selection dialog, select Load Driver, browse to the folder on the USB drive where you have extracted the files, select that folder, and in some cases you will have to remove the tick which says Show only compatible devices. So after that you will have the drivers for Intel Rapid Storage Technology, which you can install, and after that the Windows installation media will see your drives. Continue to install Windows, and in this case the drivers for the controller will be installed automatically and you will have no problem booting into Windows. I don't think there is any difference between those two methods. The only difference being is if you don't have access to any other computer to download the drivers and put them onto the USB drive, you may go for the first option where you just disable the Intel VMD controller to be able to install Windows from the media you already have. However, if you have another computer where you can put the drivers onto the USB stick, you may follow the second path. I will put link to the Intel website where you can download the drivers on my website which you can find in the description box for this video. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.